Zizi isn't just curious about the camera. <laughs> to her, everything is still new. And to Brian Slasky, who adopted her last April, she's pretty much his whole world. She's probably one of the most important things. Zizi, along with Charlie and Roche, are all from the Middle East. They were rescued by Wings of Love Kuwait. The Baltimore nonprofit was founded by Patricia Riska and Jennifer Yoon. I worked for a major airline and I was flying to Kuwait and I met some ladies that uh, were saving some of these dogs and what I saw in Kuwait just broke my heart and I thought I have to do something. So on days off I would bring one puppy at a time. Abandoned dogs are vulnerable to a wide range of abuse. Roche was found with three broken legs and one that had been flayed. And since launching in 2015, Wings of Love Kuwait has rescued 430 dogs. There's a lot of money, but the same uh, culture of, you know, the dog being part of the family, it doesn't exist. So they are a little bit more expendable. So they purchase very expensive dogs, thousands of dollars from breeders, but then they're easily replaced. So with so many dogs in need in just the Baltimore area, you might be wondering why Kuwait? Well, Patricia and Jennifer have an answer for that. I get that a lot. So one, I always say there's no hope in Kuwait, number one. Number two, does it really matter where the dog is coming from? Because in the end, you're saving a dog. There are so many things against these dogs that if they even survive the climate, they have to survive just, you know, society, disease, and it's, it's a lot. To get the dogs here, it can cost up to $1,000 a ticket. <laughs> it's a, it's a, quite the commotion, actually. All of the dogs see a vet and are vaccinated, and Wings of Love Kuwait tries to keep all of the adoptions local. I like that they try to keep the dogs based in Baltimore. They try to keep them close, uh, and uh, they, they follow up, and they keep up, and they're, they're invested in the lives of the dogs that they rescue. They're beautiful dogs. They, they are lovely and sweet, and they like to be cuddled and love. They've never had, really had that. They have it now. Jennifer Franciani, <laughs> WBAL-TV 11 News.